Nosiketa has is something very special because it is away from those people it is different from secular learning and it is different from the it is different from that of the uh, material knowledge so one's mind who is trying to free himself or herself from this ignorance they give up this journey towards the ignorance or avidya and moves towards what is vidya or knowledge and wisdom and he said that uno chiketa i find you that you are the fit candidate that you have developed you are really rightly fit to know they follow the path of knowledge and then he continued <coughs> that Nochiketa was given the advice by his guru, the Yama, the last verse we read, that was on page 59, 8 verse, verse number 8, or 9 you can say. It says that if a person with materialistic bent of mind teaches about the self, capital self, the Atman, it will never be understood. So there are many misconceptions about the self, the right teacher is he who sees himself himself as Brahman and when such a teacher teaches the disciple and then that disciple will be free from all types of conflicts of confusion of their mind. Otherwise, if someone by reasoning establishes the self as fine, that means only intellectually one can understand, that intellectual understanding is meaningless in the spiritual life so it is to be it is to come from a person who have some right understanding about that scripture as also has ex experienced himself that is the best possible way <clears throat> if not then at least it should be that person who is uh, advanced in this journey quite a long time that's why the definition of a teacher is like that eh? Shatriyo, Akamahato Abhrijina Upanishad says what is the characteristic of a teacher? Teacher should be Shrotriya that means he knows the scriptures very well and Abhrijina and knowing not intellectually but clarity in this understanding has come second point he is Abhrijina free from all sins that means mind is very pure mind the second character and first knowing the scriptures if you know you have your own experience and you beat your drum and say that that is the experience ultimate experience and guide someone you will be guiding wrongly a person who will be misguided but if one knows what is the ancient experiences of the sages as in the Vedanta or in the Upanishad is mentioned so and then you have understood in the right direction, then that will be the real Shatriya means your listening is perfect, your absorption is perfect. Now Shatriya, not only Shatriya will do, you may intellectually understood and no, Abhrijino, your character should be extremely pure, free from all types of flaws. That means pure, stainless character of Brijin. or Kamahat. That person should not <clears throat> be buffeted by the desires uh, but for this to gain this material object or to gain this name this fame this power this position so I am now trying to teach this lesson it is not a spirit spiritual teacher should have this characteristic so here it says if one can hear from such a teacher who is pure by its nature and can get, understand the truth which has been spoken in the Upanishad if they are getting such inspiration from that type of spiritual teacher then this knowledge becomes very tangible experience without doubt confusion doubts and confusion remains in the mind of the person 
who is a student nat naturally, but that can be eradicated by the conviction of the spiritual teacher's own experience. But of course, here is a question, the student should be like Nochiketa, understand that. Uh, we sometimes say, oh, teacher should be like that. Oh, there is no teacher. But that type of teacher and student, are you fit like Nochiketa? Can you dare to just get out only to know the truth, go to the home of the death even? Can you embrace that? So that type of student is necessary and that type of teacher is necessary. And teacher is already established, Nachiketa, Guru, is the Yama, he is the knower of the truth. He knows both sides of life and death and beyond. And here is a student who is so pure, so deep in his craving for knowing the truth that he does not dare to what will happen to him? So he entered into the house of death, as it were. Now, <clears throat> and this type of inquiry which Nochiketa had, that has been praised in the verse number 9 on page 62, where we start today. So you read that. Naisha Tarkena Motirapaneya Naisha Tarkena Motir Aponea Proctan ne naivo Sugan aya presta Proctan ne naivo Sugan aya presta Young Tomapa Young Tomapa Satya dritir batasi Satya dhriti rivatasi Tadring no buyat Tadring no buyat Nochiketa hap prasta Nochiketa hap prasta So it says that, oh, prasta, he is praising the student. Huh? Student Nochiketa is saying, oh, dearest. Tam you yam that into the self that you have a fine insight into the self. No, you have a fine penetrating understanding about the Atman, which is which is not the intellectual. A far-sighted insight is there, and it is not only you have have the intellectual knowledge. Our intellectual knowledge is not sufficient, but Tarkeno Motir Aponea. You the Moti, you have the Moti, you have the Buddhi, you have the understanding, which cannot be attained only by reasoning, by debating, by questioning and counter questioning. It will not do. You know, again, you have to remember, you are a student of Vedanta, so what are the prerequisites of a Vedanta student? Huh? You have to again remember Vedanta Sara. What are the students' characteristics? <coughs> Who can say? Mm. Yeah, Vivek, Vairagya, Samadhi, Satraka, Sampati, and Mumukshatta. Huh? These are the characteristics. First of all, intellect should be sharp to discriminate, analyze. What is permanent, what is impermanent, what is eternal joy, what is momentary thing, understand that, Viveka. But not only this analysis will do, you have the courage to give up, which is not truth. That is a strength. Next, Vairagya. I know that sugar is bad for me, but when beautiful sugar comes and it holds Krishmas, Eh, one piece is okay, another piece is okay. And that is not Bhairagya. That knowing has no value. We know that, but we are again damaging the body by putting those things inside. So in spiritual life also same. Not knowing will do. You have the courage and strength to just throw away. I don't care for it. So that is the second point, Viveka Bhairagya. And then you have to cultivate these six treasures Collect some money in your pocket because you are trying to travel a long distant journey into the infinite. 
So you should have those characteristics. Sama, Dhamma, Titiksa, Uparati, Shraddha, Samadhan. You know, that, that's why you, you, many places you'll find that people are very intellectual, will understand everything. But nothing happens in life because they don't understand anything because of these characteristics. They are not practicing Sama. Sama means internal control. Dhamma, external control of the senses. Sama Dhamma. They want to correct the world. Not here. Sama Dhamma. Titiksha. Austerity in life. All the sufferings and pain to be taken as austerity. The purifying me. It is purifying me. Titiksha. Uparati. Withdrawing the mind. Shraddha. Unflinching faith and trust in the words of the scripture and the Guru. Shraddha. Samadhan. And the equanimity of the uh, seeing the oneness in others. In everywhere. Samadhan. So these are the six treasures. If this treasure is not there, you are making a long drive to go to some place and you have no money and your gas and it will be ended and then you cannot fill up the gas. And what to eat on stop and have some, you have to stay overnight in some inn and this and that. So many things are necessary. But without this characteristic of a student, the spiritual life does not flourish. So it is, see, both sides have to be taken care of. And lastly, last, last but not the least, I want God. Mumukshata. What is the Mumukshata? Mukti Icha. Mukti Liberation. Freedom. I want to attain freedom. That should be the cry of a student. So these are very fundamental things. And here it is saying that not only intellectually understanding will do anything. Noisha Tarkeno, your mati, the mati means this buddhi, the understanding, your urge for knowing the truth does not come merely on discrimination. And you have not arrived in at this through reasoning, and you have attained this from the instruction you received from someone who did not depend upon reasoning. That means you got by your this life or the previous life, you got the blessed opportunity. To give, get, receive this knowledge, and you have practiced that way. As a result, getting a teacher who does not talk from the intellect, but he talks from his experience. So that's your great fortune. That's why you are so great. So the teacher praising the student Nachiketa, that you are such exceptional student. <clears throat> but studied the scriptures and realized yourself. That is the teacher. O no Chiketa, you have truly understood the nature of the self. May we have more seekers like you. Tadring no bhuya no I am not seeing many such students like you. So this is, <clears throat> it says, no, not this type of moti or buddhi, eh, knowledge or, or understanding comes out of the mere argumentation. Uh, it is not attainable. And this knowledge which you have obtained is not attainable by argumentation. It is easy to understand it when taught by a teacher who beholds no difference between the self and the another. Thou art fixed in the truth. Uh, that means he who sees God, everyone, and should have analyzed this process and ultimately reached a, st a state of mind where he sees oneness in everyone, unless he is taught by that. You know, many, that's why it is said, don't read many books. Many books are many people's thoughts. And in the books, what is written? As much one has understood, that much he has expressed in the book. That's why it is said, always read books.